Northside parents recently testified to the school board about the experience gap, noting that schools with the most students of color and children in poverty have the least experienced teachers. Is this a problem? And if so, what would be done to close the experience gap? If we want to have a successful students, if we want to have a future leaders, if we want to have future doctors, future engineers, scientists, we have to invest our children equally. Whether they live north or whether they live south, whether they come from a family with low income or whether they come from high income family. So we, we have to be fair to our students and we need to have the same standard. We need to have a teachers, experienced teachers, qualified teachers in all our schools. I, I, I don't think so it's fair to have a North Minneapolis a teachers that's not experienced enough as compared to South Minneapolis. So we have to, I, I will make sure that I will address that issue and, and we have to be fair. We have to set a, a good standard and I think he, uh, we need equality in, in, in every aspect of education and I will advocate for that. It, it is a problem and it needs to stop right away as well. One thing that we've seen is altering the way that we do um, seniority in the schools has had the reverse effect that we had hoped for uh, as highlighted in a recent Star Tribune article. Um, I think we need to explore other ways to deal with this so that we can get qualified teachers working in those schools most in need. So one way might be through offering incentives um, in terms of seniority incentives for teachers that work in those schools or possible financial incentives as well in terms of salary. But really the thing I think that's going to make the biggest difference probably is putting hard caps on the class sizes in those schools and uh, making sure that the support services are there for teachers so that those are good working conditions for teachers because if the teachers have good working conditions in those schools then that means that the students that are in those schools are going to have good learning conditions and that's something that I think we all want to have happen. Yes, this is a problem and I certainly see this with friends of mine who live in the north side of Minneapolis. They are concerned about sending their kids to those schools where there's a constant turnover of teachers. So in order to, in my mind, to alleviate the turnover of teachers and having young, younger and younger teachers starting, we need to have strong school or site leadership at the school. And we need to have Dr. Johnson, the school board, the district working hard to stabilize really good strong leadership in those school sites on the north side to attract really good experienced teachers and more importantly to keep them there. If the teachers feel like they have a principal or site leadership that have their back that will help them, they're more apt to stay and the longer they stay, the more we see families trusting the schools again, the more we see families trusting the school, the students are going to stay and they're going to do better and the communities will support them as well. So I really want to see us work hard on really helping out the site leadership at those schools. All students in Minneapolis Public Schools deserve high quality teachers. It's true that some schools in our district have a disproportionate number of newer teachers. I think it's desirable to have a balance of experience levels within our building and so our school board took steps to address this in our recent contract that we just approved for teachers and for principals. Specifically, we are creating working conditions that are desirable in high priority schools like lower class sizes and earlier hiring commitments. It's a priority of mine and of the school boards to hire and retain high quality teachers for all of our schools, including schools that primarily serve low income students of color.